Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, nice weather so far today with lots of sunshine, a little on the chilly side, but it's really not that bad outside. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing the dry conditions all over southeastern New England. We're scanning uh, Providence County, Foster Gloucester. No snow up there right now, not even any snow on the ground up there. We have a meteor shower continuing this week. It peaks over the next couple of nights. The best viewing is after 10 o'clock. It's called the Geminid Meteor Shower. The best time to look is at 2 o'clock in the morning, but you can see some uh, late in the evening after 10 o'clock and it's the remnants of an asteroid or maybe a, a dead comet just kind of floating through the solar system. Temperatures right now at 36 in Smithfield, 36 Gloucester, 38 degrees in Coventry. In Providence, we've got 39 degrees. You see some of the high clouds floating on by. A wind chill factor of 33, courtesy of a, a wind from the north northeast at eight miles an hour. Look at South Kingstown right now at 41 degrees down there at the University of Rhode Island. You can see we've got some uh, milky sunshine down there as well. It's fairly quiet down there in South Kings. Down 35 Newport over in New Bedford. We've got 36 degrees in Northern Rhode Island. Emerald Bay Retirement Limit living in Cumberland 36 degrees after a morning low of 29 and they've got a light wind tending from the north northeast at a whole three miles an hour. You see some of these high clouds zipping overhead right now due to a, an area of low pressure uh, off to our south and east that'll be staying away. We're just getting the fringe effects from it. And high pressure is keeping us nice and dry. That will continue through the nighttime tonight. In fact, I'm expecting most of that cloudiness to work its way on off to our south and east during the night. Good viewing for the meteor shower tonight and probably tomorrow night as well. Tomorrow still looking at high pressure and control. Lots of sunshine actually looks pretty quiet right into the weekend. We might see some changes uh, during the uh, uh, latter part of the day on Sunday. We'll take a look at that seven day future cast in just a second. Here we are around eight o'clock this evening on the neighborhood future cast with mainly clear Clear skies, few clouds hanging around into tomorrow morning, stopping the map at eight o'clock with lots of sun and keeping that sunshine into tomorrow afternoon. Looking good, looking good tomorrow evening as well. So for this afternoon, temperatures will be topping out in the low to mid 40s, 44 in Central Falls, east side 43 in downtown Providence, about 43 degrees with a bit of wind, feel a little bit colder, but at least we'll have the sunshine. 43 in Warwick, Cranston in the low to mid 40s, Riverside, Barrington, Warren, even Bristol, about 43, 44 degrees or so up in uh, are down in southern Rhode Island, Charlestown 43, westerly 44. Winds today from the northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Lots of high clouds around, but I think we'll see increasing amounts of sunshine as the uh, afternoon goes on. 41 in Boroughville, 42 Cumberland, Johnston in the lower 40s. Over in southeastern Massachusetts, we'll find highs in the low to mid 40s with some milky sunshine. Overall, a pretty good day. The bus stops this afternoon, still looking at that blend of clouds and sunshine. It'll be dry. Temperatures kind of chilly, but not too bad in the low to mid 40s this evening. We'll be falling down to the 30s. Look at that sunset time, 417. Ah. Mainly clear skies, though. Don't worry, over the next week or so, we'll begin to see that sunset time get a little bit later, which is good news. Seven day future cast looking at sunshine for Friday, Saturday into Sunday, Sunday night into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's a little hard to tell, but we are going to be seeing at least some mixtures of rain and snow, perhaps at least one good nor'easter during that time frame. All the computer models are kind of all over place on that, but uh, bottom line is during that time frame we will be seeing some wintry precipitation. Odds are I'm thinking Tuesday, Wednesday time mm. frame, but we'll fine tune that for you. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast and all your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com for any computer or from any computer or smartphone or tablet or what other fancy gadgets you get for Christmas. Okay, will do. Thanks TJ. <laughs> now we want to take a look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News. Live at five tonight, a traffic stop turns out to be a blessing in disguise for a down on his luck dad. Tonight at five, how a police officer's heartwarming act of kindness helped restore the driver's faith and actually turned his fortunes around. The new at 530 Call 12 for Action explains what you can do to fight back against aggressive bill collectors. And new at six, as police investigate a horrible and deadly wrong way crash involving a Rhode Island driver, we dig deeper to find out what's being done nationally to prevent similar accidents. Those stories and all the day's breaking news tonight on Eyewitness News.